Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful Sunday. 大家早上好。嗯，就见好。美好的一个星期天。哎，你好。今天我没有帽子、哦。这叫这叫做礼多人不怪。<笑>我们虽然就是几乎都一直在见到彼此。呃，是奇怪的怪还是妖怪的怪？啊、是奇怪的怪还是妖怪的怪？奇、啊、怪。<笑>跟妖怪的怪都是同一个怪。哦 ，OK OK。啊，为什么会说礼多人不怪呢？就是虽然我们常常还是会彼此见到彼此哈，可是呢，我们还是很礼貌的，以礼待人。我觉得这个就是以礼待人的一种这个尊重，还有一个礼貌。也希望能够贯彻始终，用在我们生活的啊、呃，无时无刻用在我们的生活上。对不对？嗯 ，so we can use our sense of、uh, gratitude and expression so that we can share with not only each other but also to the audiences as well. Yeah. Yeah.、Yes. Good morning, everyone. Let's see who have came online today. We have Emelda. Thank you for coming. Good morning. Looking forward to this talk of the show. 来自啊、uh, 马来西亚的朋友，我的哥们、wow. Vincent Chan. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, Vincent Chan. 太太思璇，还有他们一家人说早上好。Yeah, good morning to you. Uh, we have also Kishong. We also have um Carol. Carol. Yeah, Alice as well. Alice. And yep. And the guests are slowly coming in more and more. 是的，今天呢，我们的话题哦，会邀请到我们的。每每个月都会上节目的呃嘉宾，他是资深的这个兽医，可是呢，因为他有太丰富的这个人生的呃这个阅历了，所以他几乎是什么话题都可以跟我们聊。那今天呢，嗯、我们会聊跟癌症有关。Yep. So today we'll be having a conversation about cancer, and our guest, Doctor John Paul Lee, will be coming on as well shortly, and he will share with us his personal wisdom knowledge on what. Is cancer, and of course, there are a lot of questions that our general audience can also ask as well. 是，先、okay. 先说说我手上的一个数据吧，哈，就是 before we welcome Doctor Lee, uh, from what I've gathered, like the,、mm-hmm. the stat statistic statistic statistic, okay, 数据 the numbers of cancer, yeah, the numbers、uh. of cancer、mm. incidents in Singapore. Uh, it's not the latest, but it's always a,、uh, I think a good thing that we can look at. It's two o one three to two o one seven. There's a total of seventy one thousand two hundred and sixty five cancer cases reported、mm. in Singapore. 那有百分之四十八点四是发生在男性。四十八点四，上面 forty eight percent 啊，是放在 men。Point four， 对，那五十百分之五十一点六，百分之五十一点六是女性。So most are found in women. Fifty one percent more on women rather than men. 对，当然那个是二零一呃三到二零一七的这个数据，我不知道这个二零一八到。我刚才好像也一一晃一晃眼看到这个二零二零年那个数据，可是我没来得及就是看。不待会儿呢，我们也可以跟 Doctor Lee 就是聊一聊，那为什么这个百分比有时候它会是在女性多一点，还是在男性多一点？是不是因为某种，呃，因为我们的身体的关系？哦、嗯 oh, ，OK， 还是 So， Yep， So let me invite。Yeah, so let me invite Dr. Lee in, and we can talk more about what is cancer, shall we? Yep. Welcome, Dr. Lee. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Dr. Lee. 
Thank you for sharing with us your wisdom today. So and tell us what is cancer. Talk about cancer. Yep. Hmm. Okay, great topic. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> tell us what is cancer. Well, first of all, cancer is the number one chronic degenerative disease we see today. Hmm. The other three will be heart disease, lung disease, and joint disease, degenerative hmm. joint disease. So there are four main ones, but cancer is fast becoming the number one, both amongst humans and and and, and uh, companion animals. Mm. Uh, mm. Cancer is actually a disease where you have a group of unregulated, non-purposeful cells just growing unchecked. Mm. And they just keep growing until they completely overwhelm the whole immune system, uh, leading to destruction and sometimes loss of life. Wow, okay. But what is the cause of cancer? Well, there are many causes. Uh, cancer is said to be uh, uh, a, a, a disease of multi, it's a multifactorial disease. That means many factors contribute to the, uh, uh, the emergence of cancer. Mm. But it can also be said that on the whole, cancer mm. is actually like diabetes, a lifestyle disease because it can be traced to a lot of environmental factors. Mm. Now, some of the environmental factors would be things like abnormal nutrition, smoking, mm. alcohol abuse, excessive exposure to solar radiation, sunbathing and things like that, drug abuse, and unregulated stress and pollution. Mm. 甚至是Dr.Lee啊,我也曾经听说过,可能你的饮食,刚才Dr.Lee他在提到了一些真的是一说大家都清楚的,就是一些坏习惯。我也听说你选择吃的一些食物,它也可能会导致癌症,就是it would also trigger cancer,这个是怎么样的一个说法。so we are talking about uh, nutrition. Mm. We're talking about abnormal nutrition that can trigger off cancers. Abnormal nutrition would include things like taking a lot of um, barbecue stuff, high temperature cooking, uh, mm. the reduction in protective phytochemicals. That means uh, your fiber intake is very low, your plant intake is low, you don't eat vegetables and uh, the intake of a lot of polluted substances, uh, mm -hmm. such as um, uh, a lot of preserved foods contain a lot of chemicals that can cause cancer, some like nitrates. Mm -hmm. Nitrates in high amount are responsible for a lot of cancers, for example, in uh, Northern Chinese, uh, mm -hmm. in Hong Kong and all that, they get nasal pharyngeal carcinoma. When they eat wow. a lot of things like uh, preserved vegetables, uh, salted mm -hmm. eggs, uh, anything that is preserved contains a lot of nitrates. And uh, these nitrates, as you are right, especially the smoked ones, you know, they contain a lot. And barbecue is the same. You eat a lot of burnt food. They contain mm. a lot of nitrates and nitrosamines, which can lead to cancer. Mm. So food intake is you know, like dairy Product. products. Ni, ni yo mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is a very controversial area uh, because we see there's an increase in uh, chronic degenerative disease. Mm -hmm. In countries that consume a lot of dairy. So the mm -hmm. question is why? Because actually, you need to remember cow's milk is actually for cows. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like I would not drink dog's milk, neither would you. Mm -hmm. uh, you would not drink milk out of another species. Mm -hmm. But for some example, for, for some reason, due to advertising, culture, we consume a lot of dairy. Now, one of the problems with dairy uh, is that a lot of dairy products from developing countries, from developed countries, contain a lot of hormones. Uh, which is actually your body don't don't take, don't don't uh, need, and it contains a lot of antibiotics which your body doesn't need. 
And these mm -hmm. substances, over long periods of time, in small, even in small amounts, can build up. So these build up of these uh, hormones and 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 chemicals, and in some of these animals feeding on grass will have a lot of pesticides, and these mm -hmm. pesticides will come through the milk, and they are stored in your body. Then your body doesn't get rid of it, and your body just stores it in your fat, and. Uh, we believe that um, people with uh, breast cancer, where it grows in a fat area of the chest, you mm. should avoid taking a lot of dairy because you are at risk. Mm. And then the other thing that we worry about in, in a lot of uh, dairy products is the presence of prions. It's spelled P-R-I-O-N. Prions what is that? are... A prion is a, is a protein that behaves like a virus it can actually cause a disease uh mad cow's disease is an example of a prion uh infection now there are a lot of other prions found in milk that we have actually no idea what it caused but we consume it because we don't know uh and and of, of course it's controversial because the dairy industry is such a large industry it's a multi-billion dollar industry and it's very hard to to um, do a lot of um, tests that proves that dairy can cause a lot yeah. of problems. Yeah, mm. it's just like uh, just a few days ago, I heard on the news that you know one of the very popular chef in uh, Canada, uh, she started to realize that uh, how come the uh, the new yolk uh, butter butter that uh. she is used. Uh, it doesn't seem to melt uh, easily nowadays, and mm. a, a, and then the found uh, findings is like it's she's not the only one. 她不是唯一一个发现有这样子一个怪的状况，因为通常你的牛油你放在就是平常的这个 room temperature， 它很快它你就会看到它融。她说，哎，为什么这个牛油好像？后来他们发现，原来可能他们又加了一些东西，因为最近那个。The demand of the 那个 butter, butter is so much higher for the past one year. They don't know what they've added. So they're now studying this part, discussing this part. Well, one of the things you have to add the butter are called stabilizers. You have to stabilize butter because mm -hmm. it's an oil, actually. Uh, to 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 it's like margarine. You have to stabilize it. Without stabilizers, it will just be like a liquid. Now, you know, you are what you eat has never been more true today in cancer prevention, mm -hmm. especially in today's context. For example, most food that humans and animals consume today are mm -hmm. so processed. There's no semblance to anything that you will find in nature. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like anything you would see naturally. And animal studies uh, in dogs, for example, in 2005, uh, 2005, a uh, peer-reviewed uh, journal called the Journal of the American Vet Medical Association mm -hmm. had a publication where they run clinical trials with this particular research in Scottish Terriers. And they found that these dogs, they broke them into two groups. The group that consume vegetables are less likely to develop bladder cancer than those mm -hmm. that don't. And this is just in a study in a group of specific types of dogs, Scottish Terriers. Now that's very interesting. Huh? And the other thing, of course, in cancer prevention and in will be and uh, detect will be early detection. Mm. So we usually recommend people go for uh, start off with prevention. I think that's number one. Early detection should be the second part, not the first part. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, today we tend to only talk about early detection. We run blood tests to look for markers. Uh, we do mammograms to look for, for evidence of cancer cells. But that's too late. You already detected the cancer. The thing is, what you should do is prevent it. And we talked about the, uh, the simplest form of prevention is what you put in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That is the first thing everybody should think about. Not going sure. for early... Well, you should go for early detection, but that should be the second thing. 嗯，对，因为我们现在，我觉得我们身边的朋友也会常常听说，哦，某某人他他呃
突然间就是确诊患上癌症、呃，而且已经是第三期了。嗯、其实。真的，最近这几年很多这样的例子，第三期、第四期都不是那种，呃，会说哦，只是初期，嗯，所以我我觉得这个可能也可以问一下 Doctor Lee， 刚才他说的就是 prevention is so much 呃、uh, important than detection， 因为很多时候你 detect is already second， 呃、uh, ，third or fourth， correct。Correct, and and we know. I mean, we know that it's it's a lifestyle. In many cancers, it's a lifestyle disease. Not all cancers, the, mm. but many cancers. The majority cancers are lifestyle disease. So, what's the thing in your lifestyle that can change? The simplest is what you put in your mouth.、Mm. I mean, it's it's what it's you in, put in your mouth. In your mouth is very important. I mean, you look around at people when they eat. You、mm. just have to sit at any coffee shop, any restaurant. Most people. Tend to indulge in food that is flavorsome.、Mm. They don't necessarily indulge in food that is actually healthy.、Uh, Everything. You can just add a little bit more. 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 啊、最香的，你把就说青菜也是一样，你把这青菜一烤一下，嗯，不是更香了吗？就是香了。对，吃一一呃，偶然吃一次没关系，可是一个星期吃三四次，烤的肉、烤的菜，这、嗯就是很危险的。嗯。We have one guest who met who Sharon. She mentioned this. So meaning, air fried food is harmful too. Yeah. Now let's talk okay. about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now they are. Now they all change to oh, air. You know the 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 the. These companies ah. Oh, air fried. You know not air. Not, not oily. Right. Okay. Yeah, not that, oily. This this is advertising. I mean, the thing is, we're not. We only exclude one component, oil. Right. Because we think oil is bad for you when you use high temperature、uh, cooking, like frying and all that. The oil changes chemically, so it's toxic. Yes, that's true. But there are other things that happen when you use high temperature cooking. For example, the protein, meat protein, it will degrade. It is when the meat protein degrades, they they actually break down into another chemical which is toxic. It's called nitrosamines. Mm. Nitrosamines, when taken in high amounts for a long period of time, will create problem. And the other thing they don't realize is everything contains oils. Not just the oil you put into a fry pan, but、mm. a piece of meat contains oils. So when that oil in the piece of meat is subjected to very high, because that's what frying is, it's、mm. high temperature cooking, and it becomes a problem. That is why. A lot of people advocate nutritionists like myself. If you have to fry something,、mm. you do the old Chinese way: stir fry. You put it in high temperature just for a few minutes, and that's okay. But you put something to fry it until it's brown, until it changes color, until the green is no longer green. Now that's dangerous. But what about in terms of baking? Because baking, you do、uh, increase temperature a lot, right? Yes.、Hmm. Any high temperature cooking will change the chemistry of the、uh, the meat or the vegetables,、hmm. and all this will lead to problems if done over a long period of time. I'm not saying I'm not saying you can't eat baked stuff. You cannot eat a slice of bread. I'm not saying you can't eat. A, a big chicken or a lamb. I'm not saying that that's going to the extreme. I think, but keep it to a moderate or a minimal amount. Yep. What is moderation? A, correct. You need to eat a lot of fresh stuff, fresh fruits, fresh、mm. vegetables. These are things you should be consuming, and that's why when we look at countries like Japan,、mm. northern China,、uh, parts of Russia. The lifespan is very long because these people have no access to high temperature cooking, and、mm -hmm. they have no access to sugars and salts and oils, and a lot of stuff. For example, in Japan, is eaten raw, and that's why you have a you could actually do a survey of of the Japanese women with breast cancer versus Japanese versus the rest of the world, 
breast cancer in Japan is very low. The incidence of breast cancer is very low. But in countries that does a lot of high temperature cooking, frying and, and grilling and barbecuing, now these people are, there would be a higher incidence of certain types of cancer and breast cancer is one of them. But I'm not saying there's an absolute link. You know, I'm not saying it's very hard to prove. We're just looking at anecdotal uh, evidence. Anecdotal means what you can see, but I think there is a link. And we have shown certain animal studies that there is a link. High temperature cooking versus low temperature cooking does affect the general health of the animal or the person consuming it. Mm. So one of our guests, Alice, mentioned this. Overcooking food, I heard meat bone overcooked also can cause cancer. Is it true? I mean, I just mentioned earlier, just about everything they overcook can become a problem. I mean, okay. a good example for pets. I mean, we, we veterinarians prescribe pet food, which is processed. But this pet food, the pellets and all that, are actually subjected to extremely high temperatures. So that's why at the end of the day, dog food doesn't look like the original ingredient. You put chicken in, in a pet food, at the end of the day, when you make it into a pellet, it doesn't mm -hmm. look like chicken, doesn't taste like chicken. And if you do a chemical analysis, very little of it actually resembles fresh chicken because the protein is broken down to another compound. <clears throat> That's why all pet food, we have to add flavoring because it tastes terrible. It's virtually almost burnt food. But mm. can you feed dog food pellets? Of course you can, but moderate it with fresh food. Okay. 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 Vincent,他就提到了how high is high temperature for meat, meat grilling? grilling. <laughs> okay, the thing is, when you take, uh, because these are science, scientific studies that when you take meats or vegetables, mm. the chemicals in there, or oils, Mm. And you you put it at water boiling temperature, which is 100 degrees. Very mm. little of it changes. There is There are changes, of course. That's why meat becomes more tender. Mm. You release certain aromas when you boil something. But it's more protective than putting temperatures above 100 degrees. Frying, baking, the temperature's got to be 180 degrees and above. Frying can go up to anything from 200 to 300 degrees. Yeah. Baking, yeah. 180 to 250 degrees. So these mm. are high temperature cookings that you need to try and minimize. Mm. If you have to cook something, boil it or steam it. That's, or blanching it. You know, take vegetable, put in boiling water one minute, take out. So it still looks like vegetables. It's still crunchy and it still contains all the micronutrients. Because the other thing we didn't talk about when you do high temperature cooking above 100 degrees, all the nutrients, most of the important nutrients are gone. Vitamins, mm -hmm. enzymes, cofactors, they're all destroyed. Mm -hmm. If you just eat this without supplements, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's why there are, there are also those people who look into eating raw food. Because all the nutrients are there, like uh, fresh vegetables, uh, fresh fruits and things like that. So all the nutrients and vitamins goes into the body. That's yeah, right. Of course, now it's getting more and more challenged. Because they have to Unless you grow it yourself. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yes, if, yes, yes. even growing yourself, uh, if you have your own space, uh, that's different. But then even in cases, I, I have a friend of mine who actually grew his own vegetables uh, in Chinatown. But what happened was he, uh, she didn't expect that uh, the NEA places red poisons around. So it goes into the food that he, she ate and she got a stroke from there. So it does happen. I, well, I don't know whether it's due to that. I can't comment on that. But I think mm. the best scenario is if we can all grow our own vegetables and fruits. That's the best. Of course, there are, there, there are exceptions to everything. But generally, mm. generally, 
buying fresh food, it, it's a bit of a dilemma these days. Even organic food. I mm. mean, in, in a country like Singapore, who certifies it as organic? There is no body, there's no organization here that certifies that. So anybody can plant and say, this is organic. I mean, who is to dispute that? And same with chicken. They say, this is a uh, kampung chicken, it's organic. I mean, how, how can you tell? Just because the fat is yellow doesn't make it kampung chicken. I mean, if you feed a chicken with a lot of corn or carrots, the fat mm. will be yellow. <laughs> it's, it's a, no, it's a okay. pigment. It's That's got nothing true. to do whether it's running in a while or sitting in a cage, you know? Mm. So, I mean, the, the, the dilemma is this, but you try your best. Mm. I, I mainly eat a lot of fruits. So, one of the fruits that I eat a lot mm. is papaya. Because it's mm. so cheap, nobody bothers to spray it. Mm. And it's so easy for me to plant it. <laughs> yep. I just mm. throw the papaya seed in my garden or in the or, or at the sidewalk and it becomes a tree and I harvest mm. it. And um, I mean, for vegetables, I think that becomes more difficult. Mm. I mean, in the past, we've had a lot of uh, problem issues with vegetables coming from uh, other countries, imported vegetables with high levels of pesticides that exceed WHO requirements. Mm. But luckily today, because of this early alertness and and, uh, uh, and and interference by our AVA, and now it's called AVS, they, mm. have de- they are starting a very stringent detection system, which keeps us safe to a certain level. You can't test everything, but at, at least they're testing all the common stuff that we consume in large amounts. Vegetables is one of them. And I think that we have all these checks in place that helps us. So I think you don't have to be uh, too worried Mm -hmm. uh, for now because uh, checks and balances are in place in this country. Because it's a small country, it's it's easy to administer these checks and balances. And I said, you can plant your own. I mean, uh, uh, you can plant simple stuff like chilies and 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 spinach and 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 herbs uh, even if you live in hdb you know you don't have to have a big plot to plant simple things like that mm. uh, these are the things i encourage people to do to look into fresh stuff and mm. local vegetables because our local vegetables are very stringently controlled um, we do have a lot of farms here growing local vegetables and how much pesticide they use and when they stop before farming and how much, what sort of nutrients to put in the soil are, are all monitored very closely. So, question. Uh, correct. I understand. Great. Yeah. So I understand that cancer is also found both in human and pets. So, what are the most, what are the common type of cancer that's found in both humans and pets? Well, for humans, I mean, the most common cancers will be uh, lung, mm-hmm. uh, uh, breast, and. Uh, and uh, other cancers in animals will be mast cell cancer of the skin, squamous mm. cell carcinoma, le- uh, cancers of the spleen called hemangiosarcoma, and cancers of the uh, uh, of the secretory organs called adenal carcinoma of the breast. Breast cancer is also quite common in in, in some animals and some breeds. Uh, osteosarcoma, bone cancer, lymphoma. Mm. And which you see a lot of humans as well, lymphoma, especially humans under a lot of stress develop lymphoma. Mm. Uh, melanoma, limba this limba eye, high, and the black colored cancer, which is melanoma. We see a lot of humans who mm. are subjecting themselves to a lot of solar radiation. But we see that oral melanomas are quite common in dogs. Mm. And of course, bladder cancer. And that comes from the stuff they eat, it's excreted through the bladder, through the urine. So these are some of the common cancers we see in animals and humans. And then, um, unfortunately, um, this is the unfortunate. Cancer mm. is fast becoming the number one killer in animals. In animals. In pet animals. In companion same animals. Mm. It's not the number one yet, but yes, we are, we are jostling for that position, which is very sad. Mm. 这边有一位观众钟宁
，会不会因为这个化疗再引起其他的这个复发的疾病？那呃 ，Doctor Lee， 你有什么看法 ？Well, you know, <coughs> we need to understand one thing. Currently, there are no cures for cancer, except in a very small restricted sense. Uh, mm. Leukemia in children. There are some of them are treatable, but on the whole, cancer treatment is primarily called palliative. We keep you comfortable. We maintain the status quo for a while. Same until even remission. Remission doesn't mean you're cured. We never use the word cured. We don't see the cancer for four to five years. We in humans we call it remission. In mm. animals, we, if I don't see it for one to two years. I call it remission, but that is not a cure because any time it can change, and we we do see that in women with breast cancer. Even after ten years, it can come back. Yeah. And in animals, remission can last for one year, two years, three years. I have a case recently, four and a half years. We have a relapse. It eventually killed the host. So I mean, we cannot talk about cancer cures now. Treatment, however. Which we talked about, which was that actual statement. Whether it is old age or non-old age, we need to first of all keep it in mind that there are no cancer cures. Prevention is always better than cure, so look at that more importantly.、Mm -hmm. And treatment is mostly palliative. There are many treatment options, of which chemotherapy is actually only one of it. It's not the complete picture. If there was a cure today,、uh, I would be a multi-billionaire. There is no cure, but there are many options that we can look at. And some of the options can be combined together to give you a better result. And these options in 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 treatment includes things like it starts off what you eat. If you have cancer, the first thing you need to do make sure you take foods that are not going to make it worse. So we take foods which are called in Chinese medicine. We need to take foods that are cooling because cancer is very heated disease. So We take cancers. We take、uh, diets that are low inflammation because what you eat actually can cause inflammation. You know that after you have a meal, sometimes you feel very inflamed, and sometimes your joints start to ache, and sometimes you don't feel so well in the morning after a meal last night. So you need to be careful what you put in your mouth, even before you have detected with cancer. Low inflammation diet. Sometimes it's also called low allergy diets. That doesn't cause any inflammation. Are the things you need to consider more than、uh, treatment? Now, the other treatments will be things like surgery. Sometimes you need surgery. Some surgeries go together with chemo because the surgery is to debulk. That means you remove maybe seventy, eighty, ninety percent of the cancers, or even hundred percent that you can't see. But you still give chemo because we know by the time you see cancer, it's already spreading. There are cells everywhere, and whether these cells come back with a vengeance, we don't know. So we give chemo, and low inflammatory diet tend to keep them at status quo up to a point. And the other thing that we need to think about is immunotherapy. I mean, it's a word that、uh, we are not taught, but、mm. it's coming to the forefront now, even in general medicine, and 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 in cancer therapy. We are now looking at immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a, it's it's where you help the immune system to overcome the cancer cells. So immunotherapy now is going to come is going to become more and more prominent, and then chemotherapy is going to be taking less and less prominence in the treatment of cancer because there's no, nothing. Uh, yes. You can you can just uh, 拼一下刚才你提到的那个比较新的一一种治疗法，真的 immuno. How 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 do you spell? No, immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is I M M U N O. Immunotherapy 就是帮助你自己的免疫，用你自己的免疫来治疗。那你可以帮助你自己的免疫。第一，我刚刚已经说了 ，low inflammation diet， 食物可以帮助你的免疫。And there's a lot of、uh, herbs and plants out there. That can help our immune system. Vegetables such like cruciferous family, such as cauliflower, broccoli, helps your immune system. Herbs such as uh, 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 um, 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 
呃灵芝 ，the most potent being san huang. This san huang, this herbal medicine made from mushroom extracts, are very important in your immune system. Mm. And a lot of spices are very important. Saffron mm. and all these other yellow spices that you use in cooking are very important. Turmeric. Is a very important in in cancer treatment and also in in、uh, prevention. So all these things you can actually use. I mean, that doesn't interfere with your surgery. It will not interfere with chemotherapy. I mean, how can you? I'm undergoing chemotherapy. How does eating more broccoli affect that? It doesn't. How does eating more carrots affect that? It doesn't. You can if I if I take turmeric in my in my diet to help me in my cancer therapy. Go ahead. Do it. It doesn't cause any harm,、mm. and immunotherapy now has moved to the next level in medicine, which is going to be the medicine of the future. It is called immunocell therapy. We are now、mm. using immune cells, that means cells from your immune system, such as natural killer cells. So it's、mm. called NK cell therapy. You give it by infusion. You take the patient's cell. You grow it from a few million to a few billion. Then you inject it back in to help、mm. kill the cancer cells. They are doing it. Japan has been doing it for the last thirty years, forty years. It's not、mm. new,、mm. but in this part of the world, it is very, very new. And the other cell that we're using, we're looking at、uh, getting a lot of interest is T cells.、Mm. The T letter T. T cells are your thymus derived cells, which are in your body, but sometimes、yeah. it's asleep.、Mm -hmm. So you take it, you awaken it, you grow it. Then you put it back in,、mm. and then another therapy which is now getting a lot of attention: the treatment of leukemia in children, and、mm. it's getting very, very good results. Ah,、uh, ve I mean, really good result. It's called CAR T, C A R with a T. That means using T cells, modulated, changing the T cells so it become very specific、mm. against the cancer cell. So these are all immune. Therapies and these are going to be the therapies of the future. We're already doing it, but in a small scale and experimentally. And the results、mm. overseas are extremely good. So this、mm. is where I, as a veterinarian, and I'm exploring myself.、Uh, we we do, I do a lot of experiments using special stem cells, special NK cells, and we are in the next two to three years. I'll be experimenting and looking into CAR T and T cells. In the treatment of animals, because the results are so amazing,、mm -hmm. and even stem cells. Doctor Lee, Doctor Lee, 你要不要就是说说那个 T cells？ 因为我知道，其实我我看过了。其实 T cells 是我们体内原本就有的，是吧？对，就是、是在我们的免是,是我们的免疫里边。但是它是可是随着年龄，它会慢慢的就是所谓的减弱。对，对嗯、所以很多 cancer 是老年人才有的，因为你。到一个年龄的时候，你的免疫是越来越降，越来越降，所以很多 cancer 就起来。所、so, 以 some people even classify cancer as an immune disease. It's a disease of your immune system. Because every day your body has cancer cells. Every day we are producing thousands, hundreds, and thousands of cancer mutated cells. But your body takes care of it because it's awake. It is alert. Things like natural killer cells is your first line of defense. It will kill off any of the mutant cells. Your second line of defense will be T cells and your antibodies generated by T cells. So it's important. Your immune system wanes as you age, but it doesn't always necessarily have to be. On a good diet, you take lots of good supplements and spices and ingredients and vegetables and certain fruits. You can maintain your immune system. In fact, if you have a very low immune system. You can boost it just through diet. So these are things we need to think about all the time. What we eat today is not normal. It's not what our ancestors used to eat. Surely people say, "Well, you're eating a proper diet. You should be okay." But no, what is? I ask you, what is a proper diet? What is in the vegetables that you buy, which is still protective? Most vegetables you got off the supermarket shelf. I give you a good example: lettuce. Today. The nutrients in lettuce is probably as good as the paper it comes wrapped in. It's actually zero nutrient. You can go online and check. Studies have been done, but we sell lettuce like it is a green. 
we put mm. it in our hamburger so it makes it look healthy. But there's no nutrients in lettuce. That's a, then that goes for a lot of new uh, vegetables we are growing because vegetables can grow even without nutrients. Mm. The bare nutrients and the three nutrients that we use in agriculture is N, P, K. Phosphorus, potassium, and sodium. That's all you need. If you take, uh, sorry, and nitrates. If you take that, three chemicals and spray it on the crops, they will grow. In fact, you get very big tomatoes and very big lettuces. But when you analyze it, there's nothing else because the things that protect you are called micronutrients. You can read up. Micronutrients work as a catalyst in your body's chemical reactions. Without mm. them, your chemical reaction, your body is actually dysfunctional. So micronutrients are things like boron, selenium, all these micronutrients, they are not found in the normal fertilizer. In fact, the fertilizer that you use on plants today can be used, I tell, tell you what it's good for. It's good for making bombs. Bombs? That's what, bombs. The terrorists use fertilizer to make bombs because it has very high phosphorus, phosphorus and, and nitrates. Mm. And these things, if you take a fertilizer, you add enough charcoal and sulfur, mm. it's gunpowder. You mm. can make a bomb. That's why now when you buy fertilizers, they need to take all your history, especially when you buy a lot, where you live, how much do you want to buy? How much are you using? So you are actually eating the ingredients of, of gunpowder. No. And, so and why- Lee, can we, uh, can we ad- advise uh, just very simple layman? Uh, uh, we give them three choices, the best greens today they can buy <laughs> and it will help. Uh, on the diet when you're having cancer or, or to prevent cancer, you know, what should we advise besides broccoli? Well, the, the best choices when you make buy greens, try and mm. buy local greens, stuff that we have, mm. where it's properly supervised. And the greens should be colored, shouldn't be green. Actually, the best greens are the ones with color. So if you buy cabbage, buy the red ones. Mm. Buy plenty of, plenty of greens with color red, the yellow, because these are called xanthophils. They contain lutein and a lot of this color, these chlorophylls, this colored pigment in the plants, it's actually protective. It protects the cell, you know. So buy colored vegetables and buy vegetables. It's like uh, so uh, these are actually protected. Capsicum, is it? Capsicum. Uh, uh, peppers. Uh, so these are nature's gift to us. Uh, they are telling us, hey, eat me because I'm going to help you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think God is great. He yep. gave us all of this. But we, we, we in our mind think, no, no, I want to eat brown stuff. So mm-hmm. when I go to, to any food stores, what are people eating on their plate? Everything is brown. Mm. Everything is either grilled or fried. Mm. And the only greens they call greens will be a bit of lettuce or a bit of spring onion sprinkled on top to give you a little bit of color of green. Or they eat a lot of lettuce, thinking this is healthy. Lettuce is just water. So these are things we need to... And you don't believe... Please don't just listen to me. Go online and please check. There's mm. so much information online you check. Healthy vegetables, what are they? You can get plenty of information there. 今天呢，就是Doctor to awaken and strengthen T cells 我觉得你的问题Yep. So like some of the questions that, that we actually have a lot of questions all flowing in uh, yes, during yes, this yes. process, like how to awaken and strengthen your T-cells. Does exercise help to increase T-cells? Absolutely. Exercise, okay. actually, they've done all these are experiments done already, published mm. papers. When you exercise, you actually improve your NK cell level when mm. you exercise. Just 20 minutes of 
brisk sex. I'm not talking about walking while you're shopping in the mall. That's not exercise. <laughs> you know, brisk exercise. Twenty minutes of climbing or cycling mm. or running or doing push-ups. Yeah. Just mere twenty minutes of brisk. The word is brisk. B r i s k. Brisk exercise. Will quickly improve your immune status by improving the activity of your sleepy NK cells, your natural killer cells. And there are supplements like the the mushroom that we we Chinese for thousands of years have been looking at.、Hmm. Actually, awakens your T cells and strengthens the the component in there. One of the com- one of the component in there in mushroom is called beta glucan. Please go online and check. Beta glucan. Of course, there are many types of beta glucan. Beta glucan is also found in simple stuff like oats. But that beta glucan, the the structure of that beta glucan is not that effective. So when you go to different beta glucans, like the one in Sanghuang, which is the highest, most potent mushroom,、uh, the Japanese call it um uh mas masami uh mish mishimi. It is very very potent. The Chinese word for it is Sanghuang. It is one of the most potent beta glucan. It actually awakens your NK cell. Then the other parts of the mushroom, in the spores and in 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 the other part structures of the of the mushroom, which contains polyphenols, proteins, and all these other things that complements beta glucan, actually strengthens your T cells. The experiments are all done. Look at mushroom exp- extract on your on your on your online, and and look at T cells. You, there's so much publication on that. It is no longer just legend. It's no longer about hearsay. This is science today.、Mm. Okay, beta as in B E T A glucan. That's correct. On, right now, beta glucan. Glucan means sugar. It's actually a sugar.、Mm. It's a special sugar, and the size of the sugar is very important in awakening your natural killer cell activity. And your in some parts also play a big role in your T cell activity when you combine it with the other parts of the mushroom. And this beta glucan, as I said, is found in many many vegetables, mostly mushrooms.、Hmm. But there's a scale of activity depending on the type of mushroom you take it from.、Hmm. So with all this that you have mentioned so far, what will be a way for prevention then? I think prevention starts with what you put in your mouth. As I said, things、mm-hmm. must be fresh. Avoid using、uh, eating long-term, high-temperature cooking uh, nutrients, uh, mm-hmm. foods. Try and eat fresh as much as you can. Choose、mm-hmm. the coloured stuff that you put in your mouth. Choose stuff which is you you know that is not sprayed or. Or it doesn't have, or, or or choose stuff if you can afford it. Buy either the hydroponics or the organics. I mean, they are much better for you.、Mm. And also choose local produce, which are cultured in very stringent conditions. I'm I gotta get because I visited these farms. They're really good, and they are mindful that you need other nutrients in there. So they don't use just the normal fertilizer. They use other things like compost, the leftover vegetables and fruits. Stuff they use earthworms to aerate it,、uh, and the earthworm produces the stools of the earthworm. Actually, is a very good nutrient for plants. So these are things that we are understanding now.、Mm. And also the other thing we need to do, we need a lot of rest.、Mm. Every person, because your immune system cannot function properly without proper rest, and、um, you need to look at about six to eight hours of rest. Rest means sleep, proper sleep. Not disturb sleep with nightmares and dreams.、Mm. We need to have sleep that is very, very deep, restful. So when you wake up, you feel good.、Mm. So your 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 brain got to go into an alpha state. So that when you rest, it is actually really restful.、Mm. So the other thing you need to take care of is don't. Stay in front of radiation for too long. What is radiation? We think radiation is just what you get in the hospital. Radiation don't don't stay in the sun for too long without protective clothing.、Mm. The other thing is don't sit in front of the computer for too long because that's radiation. 
Mm-hmm. Don't use a handphone. Use a use a earphone when you're listening to your mobile because that's radiation. That's direct radiation. You get two handphones. You put an egg in there and you put it on full, and you can actually cook that egg. Mm. That's radiation. You're cooking your brain. So these are things you need to just be very very aware. Of. Simple simple things. Good food, exercise, exercise at least brisk 20 minutes a day. Make sure you get go out for walks. Fresh air, early in the morning, in the evening, when the pollution is is the least, which is early morning. Fresh air, exercise, good sleep. No, this I don't have to tell you about this. You actually most people know that they yeah. just don't follow it because it's too hard. It's too hard. It's like, I mean, you would line up three, four a.m. in the morning when there's a sale in the shop, but you cannot, <laughs> you cannot wake up early. To help you survive and live a better life, I don't understand that rationale. I really don't understand it. You go for a brisk 20-minute walk, only 20 minutes, or a brisk 20-minute run. You have no problem, but you can walk around for hours in the shopping mall, and that's not a problem. Mm-hmm. I, I think we need to change our mindset a bit. We need to care about the number one. Who is the number one? Us. We care about everything else, but we don't care about us. I don't understand why. You buy an expensive car. What do you put into it? Expensive petrol, right? Ninety-five mm-hmm. or ninety-eight or Supreme. Mm-hmm. But for what we put in our mouth, which is fuel for this car, we don't care. Anything okay. can put inside all this garbage and rubbish, and because it tastes good. Mm-hmm. I mean, what is wrong with us? So when someone comes to me, I'm, I'm a clinical nutritionist. When someone comes to me and I tell them this. They get very upset, especially in Asia, because in Asia, food is almost like religion. You don't touch what I eat. Just give me tablets. Just do surgery. <laughs> do me chemo. Do all of this, but I don't touch what I eat. So mm. I'm thinking, what is wrong with you? Don't you think you're important? Mm. Don't you think when if something happens to you, it affects everybody around you in a negative way? Mm. Your loved ones, your friends. The work, the place where you work, you are valuable. You're not invaluable. So please, today, start treating yourself as a very valuable commodity. Hmm. 对，我觉得从二零二一年，对不起，打断那一下，就是刚才 Doctor Lee 说的，我们很多时候是去满足自己的欲望。满足自己的欲望，买车、买大房、买贵的东西，物质上，可是我们却忘了我们要怎么满足我们的这一个家<笑> ，our house here. Yep. So back to just now, uh, I was going to say something was earlier we talked about uh. Cancer that has actually been produced by many factors can be due to environment. The other thing that we we talked about earlier was basically that emotion can also be a trigger for cancer. Am I right? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Because you know the、uh, body is a very beautiful machine.、Mm. All sorts of things influencing from the outside can cause dysfunction in this machine.、Mm. But also, what's inside can also cause dysfunction in this machine.、Mm. So inside will be the most important: your emotions. Because that has a big bearing on your immune system.、Mm. Uh, one of the terms that we use quite loosely is stress, but you know we we tend to forget that different types of stress. Some stresses are actually really good for you.、Mm. Stresses that produces hormones like dopamine, 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 and endorphin. These are really really good. And stresses that produce adrenaline are very very good. They actually charge your immune system. There are certain stresses that are very bad for your immune system that suppress it. Will be distress, mm. grief, mm. sadness, mm. unhappiness. These produce ca- different type of chemicals that are actually very bad for you. One、mm. of the chemicals that your body produces, which is very bad, produced by a lot of this, is cortisol. Cortisol levels when it goes up. Suppresses your immune system. We know that we take exogenous chemicals that mimic cortisol, like steroids. We take a lot. It affects us. Your liver, your immune system. 
But your body produces a lot of cortisol when you are distressed, when you're in distress, due to many, many reasons. There are different levels of distress, but they all produce cortisol. So the levels of distress and how long it's been there determines how much cortisol you produce. The more cortisol you produce, the worse your immune system, the worse your liver, mm-hmm. and the worse your cholesterol level. Because when you are, when you have high cortisol level, your liver is affected. When your liver is affected, it starts pumping out a lot of cholesterol. People forget that. Cholesterol is not always from diet. Diet is only responsible for 25 to 30% of your body's cholesterol. Mm. 70 over percent is produced from your liver by distress. So when doctors give you this cholesterol lowering drug, yes, it helps, but no, in the wrong way. What he should be doing is looking at your stress level. How to monitor, how would you monitor stress level? Most of us know whether we're stressful or not, but sometimes it is not possible when we are in a very stressful work situation. Mm. Then you should take that stress and change it into a good stress. Do it, take a dislike, change it into a like. Make this enjoyable. And then you produce a different type of cortisol. You are doing the same work, but make it find ways to make this work enjoyable. If you if you are servicing a machine, you can do it to a rhythm. Turn on some music, so you're changing the gears. It become rhythmic. That's wonderful. It's a you make it into a dance. I'm just giving you an example. There are a lot of things you can't do like that. But when you do when you work in an enjoyable environment. When you're doing work that you enjoy, like what you guys are doing, wow, you're producing very little cortisol and a lot of other hormones like dopamine, things like endorphins, serotonin. Mm-hmm. These are really good for your body. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And when you're exercising, you produce a lot of serotonin and you're producing a, 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 a lot of endorphins. And these things help you to relax and have a good nice rest. Mm-hmm. And it, by exercising early in the morning before you go to work, these protective hormones will overshadow your unprotective hormones, your, your bad hormones like cortisol. Mm. So exercise before work, sometimes it's a good thing. You go to work fresh, you look at work in a totally different, uh, from a different perspective. Why? Because your body is flooded with the good hormones already. Mm. So people don't stop to think. Everything is a cause and effect. There's a cause and effect. And if the effect is bad, then in, improve on how eliminate reducing that cause. More is called modulation. That's a word you should all remember today. Whether it be cancer treatment or whether you're eating your diet, your food, and all that, it's called modulation. That means when something is too bad, you bring it down. When something is too good, you need to bring it. The body is always in balance. And the Chinese always use this in every treatment. And so does your grandmother when she cooks and makes soups and all that. It's called yin and yang. And yang, yeah. This is the balance. The whole universe is about mm. balance. Western medicine, we learn the term, but we have hardly ever use it. We don't call it yin and yang. We call it homeostasis. Mm. Homeo is spelled H-O-M-E-O. Stasis, S-T-A-S-I-S. Homeostasis is yin and yang in balance. Mm. Whatever it is, food, chemicals, treatment, hormones, everything in your body must be yin and yang. And there are many ways to achieve that. And one of the things we talked about earlier is diet and exercise. And the other thing we didn't talk about is actually meditation. Mm. If you have a stressful day, very, your body is full of cortisol and you're always damaging your liver and your other organs and suppressing your immune system. What do you do? Meditate. Mm-hmm. Meditate. People think, oh, meditation means sitting down, crossing your legs and looking at your navel. No, that's only one form of meditation. There are many right. forms of meditation, how you can clear your mind. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, my meditation, I put myself in a meditative state when I go fishing. Mm-hmm. When you fish, your mind goes blank. What are you looking at? My fishing rod and the line, waiting for it to move. That's that's meditation. It's no different to you holding your hands, kneeling, clearing your mind, looking at your navel, or using one word, um, okay? 
for me, fishing is very soft for people out there. Sometimes <clears throat> it's playing golf. Yep. Around <clears throat> golf, it's, it's you clear your mind. All you do is concentrating on the game. That's meditation. So meditation can be many many forms. It's not just what we perceive it. Say, oh, it's too hard for me. No, no. Mm. Pick something in your life that you can mm. clear your mind, that rests you, that after that activity you go home and you feel fantastic. Why? What's the what's that fantastic feeling? Serotonin, dopamine, mm. a bit of adrenaline. Yep. All of that. You know, mm. the endorphins. That. Gives you that high. So mm-hmm. after fishing trip, I go home. Oh man, my next week of work is fantastic. We are treating the individual space of emotion anyway. Yes, mm-hmm. so important that that feeling, the emotion from the inside. You can modulate it from what you do. Well, huh? very very important. And breathing, mm-hmm. very important that you breathe properly. And sitting in an aircon room, inhaling that. Stale aircon, recycled cold air is not very good for you. You should take a short walk from time to. I don't mean go out to smoke. Ah,、huh? I mean that, <laughs> that's the worst. Take out. We are talking about、out. all the good habits. Not go out and look at your handphones. Correct. Go out, have a walk, take some deep breaths, walk around the building, come back and sit sit down. I mean, smokers do that, except they do the opposite. You go out, go out with walk out with the smokers, but you will go for a walk around the block. Come back. Look at some greens. Look at the sky. Look at something good. Take in some good clean air. I mean, hopefully one day the air will be so clean we can actually call fresh air. Now we、mm. can't. We can just use the word clean, but it's to some extent very polluted. One day, one day, when all the cars are electric and we have no problems. <laughs> So today, after、True. the program,、uh, go think about what Doctor Lee have、uh, mentioned about. What you put in your mouth, okay?、Mm. Today, look on your plate carefully, or what you、yeah. buy, and your sleep, enough sleep,、mm. and、uh, exercise. Twenty minutes, fifteen minutes is more than enough every day. Do it three times, four times a week, and、mm. be with nature,、uh, you know, more, and not handphones and computers and all that.、Mm. And, and one re- last thing, I, one last、yeah. thing I forgot to mention when I talk about what you put in your mouth: water. Yes.、Uh, Nobody yes. mentions water. Water、Ta-da. is the num. Yes, it is the number one nutrient. It's actually a nutrient. But、mm. when people talk about nutrition, they never mention water. In、mm. fact, in my talks on about nutrition, the first thing I always mention water, because you are seventy to eighty percent water.、Mm. So what do what、okay. type of water you put into here is so important. I don't have to talk about it. There's a need. That's enough online. You go online and check on、mm-hmm. what is good quality water. What is healthy water? What is living water? The water that helps you to live a good life.、Mm-hmm. Lots of it online. Go and check. Good. Yep. 好的，今天也我们呃 ，Doctor Lee 啊，今天也跟大家就分享了很多很多很多啊，受大家应该是受受益不浅。<笑>大家懂的，可是有时候忘了。然后呢，我们再提醒大家一下。Yep， 好不好 ？Thanks for the reminder, Doctor Lee. But these are all simple things that we、yeah. recommend. We're not we're not recommending really horrible, hard to do things, expensive stuff. No, no, simple stuff. 嗯、mm-hmm. ，Yep。好的，从今天开始就改变一下自己的生活习惯吧。啊。嗯，好，那今天我们的时间也差不多了，要再次谢谢 Doctor Lee。Thank you. Thank you. 下一次就是在三月份。对 ，next month in March we'll see you again, and、uh, we'll talk more based on your sharing. Thank you Thank once you. again for coming on our show. Have a good Sunday. Yep. Thanks. So, you too, Doctor Lee. You Thank、too. you. Yep. So、uh, we'll see every one of you next Sunday, ten thirty a.m. on the Power Tree. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you for attending the show. Bye bye.